Hey everyone, uh, I wanted to show you guys my newest project. It's been taking up some of my evening hours recently. Um, I kind of had the idea a long time ago. Well, I picked this guy up. This is a, a J38 World War II era telegraph key that uh, I picked up going to the, it was going to the trash and some old stuff we were getting rid of at work and, uh, and I thought it was cool so I kept it. It's got some nice brass hardware on there and cool little adjustments for uh, rebound rate and throw of the actual clicker so you can dial it into your preference which is kinda neat and uh, it's got this really nice uh, lever here that slides in and out to bring your uh, the sender in and out of the circuit so if you're transmitting you open it up transmit away if you're not transmitting uh, you close it out and you're letting other people transmit essentially so uh, I saw somebody do a Staples Easy button and convert it into an Internet of Things button. So I was like, well, that would be a cool thing to do with this instead of just making it a desk toy. So uh, essentially I have taken this and put an ESP8266 in there. It's a Node MCU version 1 board. Uh, these are cool little Internet of Things devices that are... I think this board's like 6 or $7 shipped, and the little chip that's on it is about $2. So got it and some batteries and a little piezo buzzer and that's about it for hardware in here um, and what I've done is things sort of spiraled out of control uh, from going from a simple button that would turn on and off a light to a full-on system but basically I open that up and my system will boot up and now it's connected to Wi-Fi and that's when the cool stuff can happen all right, so I've moved up to the computer room here. Uh, the way that I've wired this guy, I actually have it documented on the GitHub page, but there's a little diode that gets us gets him to turn on, and then he actually takes control of his own power, and then decides when it shuts off on his own. So when I open this up, you'll hear it kick on Wi-Fi. There, it's connected, and then as soon as you close it, it waits just about five seconds and it kills itself and so now it's in super low power mode so you can actually leave it on all the time and just open this up so I sorta of took the uh, easy button uh, stuff that's out there on the net already and inverted it because this is a normally closed switch so uh, I hold it down to ground which holds the reset down and everything's good okay so let's get into the software side of things alright so I'm gonna go ahead and start them up and you'll see it connect here shortly there it is and I can come over here and refresh so I've actually cheated a little bit I'm running a local dev environment here but it's the same stuff that can get served right off the ESP so um, it occurred to me at one point it'd be really cool if the server could answer you back with confirmations like if you say turn on the light it would say okay light is on or something so uh, I added this, uh, this sort of a debug slash learning console that you get, and it's connected with WebSocket, so I can send anything I want. Send something easy. So it sent an S, let's send an A via dot dash. And then uh, this is where it'll actually read data in from the key. So I can see, let's see if I can get it to work. So. First, you set your base timing, so I'll, I'll do a, let's try an A, dot, dash, I got an I, dot, dash, <laughs> so the, the ant noise is when you mess up, so it asks you to uh, rekey the base frequency, so let me go a little faster, I'll do a, an E, ha, Okay, there's an E, and then let's try an S. I got it as an E. <laughs> so basically, I don't really know Morse code, so uh, what it does, though, is it, it uses the proper timings for all of this, and it will actually uh, key in, and then it'll add a space for a word. So a word would be 7 dot timing so let me reset it I'll hold it down for a second here and get a bad timing that'll reset us have a nice long one so that's how long a dot is 
dot, dot, dot. Oh, we got an S. That's what I wanted. So, dash, dash, dash. Oh, all right. Dot, dot, dot. Ah. So, anyway, it's very difficult to do Morse code, and I've got like 10 minutes practice ever. But that's the gist of it. Um, we can go ahead and type some stuff. I have started implementing the REST API, so basically you can say write val equals SOS. And it'll happily sound it away. And it actually is adaptive, so it'll use whatever frequent or whatever base timing you've set at the beginning or a default base timing. So, uh, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> it uh, it's been been about a fun four days getting this coded in. But you know, we got Arduino firmware here. It's only about my fourth Arduino project ever, so there's some some probably garbage stuff in here that it's not the right way to do things. But I have a state machine. Um, to actually receive all the data down here and uh, it's fully documented on github uh, with a flowchart and then this is all going to be open source so if you want to play with it oh he timed out um, if you want to play with it then uh, just grab yourself an ESP a diode a resistor a buzzer and a switch and or like a momentary push button those five components and uh, you can use this software and, and play with your own uh, Morse code learning system transmitter receiver thing. So uh, enjoy.